Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here, coming back with a quick little DIY that I'm going to try. Um, <laughs> uh, I have been searching high and low for some burgundy napkins for Thanksgiving to go with my tablescape that I'm going to have. Well, because we are not having company, I don't technically have to have napkins, but we're still going to be eating. So... I decided to recreate something similar to what I purchased. So, you know I purchased these napkins. I did it on a thrift find. Got these for $2, but it's only two. So, um, normally when I have to do like a mix match on my table, I typically put uh, what I want to be seen on the front end of the table and then what I technically don't want to be seen or... Um, some that they may look but not notice on the back end of the table. So I'm going to try my best to recreate these napkins. So I went to Dollar Tree and they had some burgundy napkins. They're paper napkins, but burgundy. <laughs> and they were a dollar. So I'm going to open these up, which is fine because we can use, you know, the rest of them for when we do eat. I just want the table to look somewhat uniform and depending on lighting you won't be able to hopefully tell the difference so let's see let's try so I'm gonna open the napkin up so it looks like this then I am going to fold the napkin um, because the way that they're going to be displayed on the table, they're going to be displayed with the pumpkin side up. I'm not going to use the napkin rings. Um, I'm just going to lay them next to the plate. So I'm going to lay them with the, uh, pumpkin side up. And because these napkins are a lot longer here, um, I'm debating if I should technically just fold a piece of it so they're the same length so let me see here and of course I'm probably going to put them in a book to get this crease out of it because this crease is very very long if I tend to fold them in half like this as you can see they're two different sizes um, whew. so yes I'm just going to do something real quick here so give me a quick second. I just want to make sure I'm getting them the right length. Because like I said, it's just for decor purposes. Not so much to use. We can use the rest of the stack to use them. Um, let me pause the video one second. I'm having difficulty. Okay, sorry about that. I was having difficulty getting it folded. But anyway... So, I got it folded now. They're the same length as the other ones. And I have a pumpkin, felt pumpkin sticker. <laughs> and I'm going to put it right at the bottom. So, I am going to, I'm going to work on getting this crease out of here. Of course, um, if someone's looking at the crease that hard, they need to leave my house. <laughs> but... This is my quick DIY. This is the original. This is the DIY. Same length. Pumpkin on it. Cool. So, that was a quick DIY. I just wanted to do something that I can, you know, put out with the, the plates. I just don't want them to look so non-uniform. I don't want to have two plates with the napkins and then nothing on the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and make the second one here and then I'm going to be done. But that was just something quick. Um, I'm still going to look for me some burgundy napkins. But if I can't find any, there it is there. So... That is my DIY. Hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye-bye.